Hello and welcome again. We are playing with snowflakes. Now I also have Corel Draw here that I'm going to fiddle with to just design some. Really, we're just playing with six fold symmetry, but we're going to make snowflakes. Um, so it's a nice idea to help your kids explore some of the tools of your design software if you have them, whether it be Inkscape, Illustrator, Corel Draw, or uh, some laser software that can do some editing. So this one's not finished yet. This one is. So I will get a new one and start. And I was just sticking shapes together. That's all I'm gonna do. And that's you know, the basic idea of uh, making, but what I'm gonna make, whoop, where'd you go, nothing. Um, I'm going to make one branch, one strand of a icicle, of a, uh, not an icicle, of a snowflake. Uh, so we'll start with that. We, so, the, so there we used, we used shapes. I want to edit that node. Cause I actually don't want a triangle. Yep, that didn't help. Nope, not what I wanted. I was really trying to make something else. I'll make something else. If I could, I never remember where the line tool is. So draw. There we go. Draw a line. I want to make something like this. But ooh, I don't know if this is gonna actually go together. Good question. Did I make it go together? Okay, it's a shape because you know merging shapes is kind of important. Polygon, let's stick a polygon on here. Uh, yeah, pens is fine. Oh, I like that. That rhombus kind of better. And then it's got common shapes we could deal with. And up here are the common shapes that we could drop on here. Where was that light? Lightning bolt. All right. Let's put a lightning bolt on here. Where are you at? There you are. Let's make it like that. Let's see, I could rotate it. Let's go 180 with it. And then let's stick it on top. Let's actually do a couple. Uh, let's go lightning bolt sticking off the side. I want to go 90 with it. But I want it to be thinner and long. Okay. And I'm going to copy and paste that and flip. Yep, I guess I got to flip it 270. Okay, so I copy and paste it with key keyboard shortcuts. And then I'm going to stick it in like that. All right, so that's I'm just making I'm just making things up. So we stick them all together, and now, because if I want a laser cut or I want to make this smoother, I kind of got to get rid of these overlaps. So I do that, and all those overlaps went away. Awesome. So now I, got a, I have a branch to a snowflake. So now I need to make six of them at 60 degree angles from each other. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy and paste. And so there's a second one on top of there. Now I need to click off and then double click on them. And I'm actually double clicking on the top one. And then here's my, my pivot point. I'm going to bring that out here. I could put maybe put it on a corner, but I'm just going to bring it out here. And I'm going to rotate this. I didn't want 90. I wanted 60. Awesome. Yeah, maybe I don't like that so much. Yep, I guess I'm... Well, let's undo. Okay. Yeah, we'll see what it does. I'm going to go with that. Okay. And now you got to repeat that on each clone, basically. 
So click on it, Command C, Command V. That's because I'm on a Mac, Control C, Control V for you. Click off it, click twice on it. This, the pivot point shows up there again. So now instead of 60, I'm going 120. Click on it, select it, Control C, Control V, Command C, Command V for max. Click off it, click on the top one, click on the top one a second time. That pivot point shows up in the same place, and that's really nice. Now 180, copy and paste this one, click off, double click. That pivot point shows up. We got 240. And we gotta do it one more time. Copy and paste. Click off. Double select. 300. Ta da! Now, here's the problem. I'm not quite sure those are touching. Kind of like well, I don't know. I wish I, I, yeah, I wish I had made that pivot point just slightly in, so that they so they they overlapped at the beginning. I should have paid better attention to that, because this this is not going to laser cut well, because they're not see they they're not overlapped enough, so. But it's a pretty design. I mean, I can just go back, undo everything, and start it with a different um, point. But, you know, there's the idea. Uh, export it as a, your SVG and take it to your laser. I mean, it'll print out fine. We could cut it out with scissors fine. But these are kind of kind of six separate. This is not going to work. This There's not enough overlap here. There's no overlap here at that point. So... There you go. Just put some shapes together to make a branch. Um, use that. Let me select them. Yeah, let's try Command A. Nope. I want that merge tool to show up because I can't find it when I go through the tools up here. Um, oh, because it's all it's one object I. Kind of already did that, huh? Yep. So, there's the idea. Is that you make one branch. You copy and paste it. This tool. There's, you copy and paste it, and you rotate that 60, 120, you know, work it around, and then you would merge them all together again, combine them all. Um, now, this is going to combine no matter what. It combines it into one shape, but the lines here that are cutting, if I put it on a laser, that's just going to cut it out as six separate shapes that aren't together because I did not overlap them enough to make them co-jointed. Co that sounds good. So there's using CorelDRAW. Play with your own. Enjoy.